United 2, Liverpool 2, and a dagger, a Kobe Mainu dagger damages, hurts Liverpool's title credentials big time today after Liverpool dominated that first half, 15 shots to none, four shots on target, an abundance of opportunities missed by Liverpool a barrage of mistakes and individual quality from Manchester United in the second half gave them a 2-1 lead. United couldn't see it through. A mistake, a big mistake from Aaron wan Pazaka gave Liverpool a penalty, which Mo Salah converted. But draws are devastating. All three title contenders were away this weekend. Many predicted at least one would drop points. Nobody thought it would be Liverpool at Man United. And after that first half, this has to be summed up as a complete and utter bottle job by Liverpool. You can't go up against this poor Man United team. Dominate them. Absolutely dominate them the way in which they did and then walk away with only a point. That is devastating. That is embarrassing. That is beyond humbling for this Liverpool team and the situation they find themselves in. Absolutely catastrophic for them today. There's a long way to go. And of course, they're not out of this title race. They are not out of this title race. Only an idiot would say that. But Arsenal now sit top of the Premier League. And uh, I'm just going to open it. I'm going to have a little, I'm going to have a little drink here. I'm going have a little drink, a little whiskey to celebrate this. Because being on loan at Arsenal, this is great for our title credentials. And of course, being a Man United fan first, Helping to st hopefully stop Liverpool from winning the league, helping to stop City from winning the league is what we want to be able to do. So I'm just going to pour myself a little Sunday afternoon drink. I know we were leading and we threw it away, but we still took two points off Liverpool. And that is more than I expected from today's game. And we're going to break that down in just a few moments um, for you all. But please hit the like button. Please make sure you are subscribing. Hang on a little sip of this. Oh, that taste. A little drop on a Sunday afternoon after an excellent game of football from an entertainment point of view. Oh, I just think I cannot wait to see how angry Klopp is going to be on this. But look, there's loads to break down in this game. There's lots to break down from a Liverpool perspective um, and a United perspective. But I'm going to start with Liverpool. And I'm starting with Liverpool because... They're in the title race. Today was bigger for them than it is Manchester United in, in actuality. And they absolutely toyed with United. They played, it's like they were playing with their food. They absolutely battered us in that first half. And as the st statistics here show, 15 shots to none. In fact, by the end of the game, Man United, I think in the end, only had about eight shots. I mean, we both ended up, though, this is what's crazy, with the same amount of shots on target, four. I'm not too sure. That's This was... Um, I'm not too sure why the penalty isn't classed as on target, but that's a, this is according to who scored. We ended up with four each on target in the end. And this can't be looked at anything other than a capitulation from Liverpool. They came out in the second half and they looked maybe a little bit complacent. I felt they looked a little bit too cocksure of themselves. They dilly-dallied in possession. And after the abundance of chances that they missed in that first half, I expected a barrage in the second. And maybe they were setting up for it, but they were a little bit slow. And when Kwanzaa played that ball inside to Bruno, at first of all, I thought it was just a mistake. But the strike, look, Bruno Fernandes, I thought had a really poor game overall. Worked really hard, but in possession poor, and we'll get onto that later. But the strike from him was nothing short of sensational. Then Liverpool played into Manchester United's hands. They became as ragged as we did. They became as disjointed as Manchester United were. And as soon as that happened, it became a very, very, in my opinion, 50-50 game. Both teams were attacking. Both teams had opportunities. And then the young man stepped up again with an absolute perler that he'll remember forever in young, young Kobe Mainu. And what a goal it was. I was hoping that Man United could see it through from there. The only thing that was frustrating me and worrying me is that Liverpool started to relax after this point. Liverpool started to 
actually play football again. And that was the mistake they'd made in that sort of 20 minute, 25 minute period prior to that. They were just, they, they weren't relaxed in possession. They were trying to force it. They were leaving open spaces that Man United were exploiting. Once they settled back down or moving the ball properly, they became a problem again for Man United. And of course, we couldn't cope with this. But we'll move on to Man United in a minute, really. But Liverpool fans should feel disappointed today. Liverpool fans should feel gutted. Liverpool fans should feel absolutely embarrassed. Not just it, before the game, if somebody would have said a draw, a lot of Liverpool fans would have said, yeah, but it's Old Trafford. We have problems there to dominate the way you did. OK, and I'm looking at the statistics here in front of me. To have 62 percent of the ball, 28 shots to nine to dominate the first half the way you did. Liverpool should be walking away from this fuming. The Premier League title race is going to be separated by a point or two and or goal difference. And you had the opportunity today to beat Man United and to beat Man United by a convincing score. So not only winning three points, you've dropped two of them, but gaining on that goal difference. Instead, your goal difference stays the same. Liverpool, of course, pulled further ahead of, sorry, Arsenal pulled three ahead of you yesterday. Yours stays the same. And you dropped two massive points. And complacency really crept in. Mistakes crept in. And then we were talking about Arsenal yesterday. And we know City do this brilliantly as well. But when they get into a commanding position, they're able to kill games out. They're able to stay relaxed. They're able to stay compact. They're able to control their emotions. And we asked this question midweek about Liverpool. So I'm just taking a little sip of my whiskey here because it is tasting fine on this on, on, on God's day. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's one of them ones, bruv. Tasting fine today. And <laughs> sorry, I just saw some comments making me laugh. But they couldn't hold it together, Liverpool. They became really disheveled. And we spoke about this on the Straight Facts on Friday. And we were talking, will Liverpool become too emotional because they're trying to do this for Klopp? And today they did. Today they were too emotional. Today they did show their heart more than their brains. And I think that really cost them two points. It really, really did. I want to get Liverpool fans' perspective on this. None of them have come backstage yet. I can see a man like Cameron. KJ's there. Matt's there. Uh, Sky is back or Sunshine FC is backstage and not, not Sunshine as in Neji and New Sunshine uh, who, who you'll see in a few minutes there are two different Sunshines uh, that are on that are on the terrace I don't know where the Liverpool fans are are they coming are they cry they're probably crying aren't they they're probably crying but they should feel embarrassed on Man United look <laughs> I'm probably getting cooked on Twitter because I went in at half time I went in at half time because the way we play football is horrendous I am happy with this draw and I'm going to celebrate this draw. I'm going to celebrate taking points off Liverpool. And hopefully the two points we've made them drop today is the beginning, is the beginning of them not winning this league title, league title for Klopp, I hope. And I hope that it gives Arsenal even more confidence to stop the four peak from City. That's my personal hope. But we play football horrendously. Started off quite well. We're actually, our high line pushed up. The press stayed together and we really started 15 minutes pretty good. Didn't get any shots, but played well. And then we went back to this, and I want to show you a graphic. This is basically how we set up a relatively low block or mid block. Everyone in the midfield and attack pressing and Casemiro by himself. And sometimes even Casemiro joins in with the press. OK, it is absolutely horrendous. And this comes off the backdrop of Ten Hag saying, I don't care. Our style is clear and obvious. Uh, we want to dominate the game in and out of possession and play out from the back. This man, I, I tweeted it and I stand by it. He either hates Man United and he's sabotaging us because no stable person, no stable human being would continue with what I call violence. This is violence, what he does to us each week. No structure whatsoever at all to the team. And the irony is, when he tries to bring more structure in, bringing Amrabat on, taking Manu off, we conceded. Same as against um, Chelsea. As soon as we try to like block it up, it falls apart because we're not very well drilled at all and that first half was horrendous there is no sustainability in that style of football i feel so sorry for Mainu in general play because he's not where he should be there are major major problems in relation to that and it needs to be 110 percent. it needs to be addressed in the summer everybody knows what i think and feel i can't praise the performance per se i can praise the fight back I'll praise the individual goals. I'll praise a 20-minute period. The way we played in that first half, Man United fans don't let, and maybe not today, maybe you do it tomorrow, maybe the day after, but you don't let the euphoria of damaging Liverpool's title hopes make you ignore how bad we were for 85% of that game because it has to be discussed. But how bad we were 
is why this is even more embarrassing to Liverpool because there is no way. And Gary Neville said it and he was right. This on paper was Liverpool's hardest game in their title run, but it was the easiest. They are not going to play against a team as dysfunctional with as poor a shape as Manchester United. It isn't going to happen. Coupled with their injury problems, they're not going to have anything else like that, genuinely. So look, I'm really happy with the draw. I'm disgusted with our shape. I'm disgusted with the way we set up. The lack of, I'm not saying the lack of tactics, the poor tactics, the poor coaching, the poor drills. I am heavily frustrated with all of that, but super proud, okay? Super, super, super proud of young Kobe Mainu and his goal. I, I thought it was a thing of beauty. The context of it all was great. Bruno Strike was great as well. I want to shout out actually today, Maguire, because I thought Maguire, by the way, I will say this about the defensive line. Another thing about anyone defending Ten Hag here. This is why I think he's got to go Another reason. Our back line drops so deep that every team knows they can just put cutbacks onto the edge of the box because players are always free. And they continue to do it. And we do nothing as a club. I'm advocating, and I normally don't do this, but I'm advocating on this particular occasion for the Man United players to stop listening to Eric Ten Hag and do the basics. And Gary Neville, I don't want to plagiarize from him, but he called it right. The way Kobe, Kobe, uh, Kobe Manu pushes forward because he's told to, the way Bruno pushes forward because he's told to, told to exposing Casemiro, sometimes he goes as well as a tactic. The way our defensive line drops deep is a tactic in the way we play. And these two things are basic. If you learn to play football, and I don't care where you learn, it could be Australia, America, England, Spain, doesn't matter, Brazil, you are taught and told you don't do either of those two things. The fact that we play like this, it is absolutely ridiculous. When when you see little kids play football, four, five, six-year-olds, the whole, both teams just chase the ball around the pitch. That's how Man United play football. We just all sort of follow the ball around instead of staying in our shape. We follow men and we follow balls rather than defending our area. So I do want to call that out because I don't want to let Euphoria get away from it. But it was so beautiful to stop Liverpool from winning today. I'm not going to lie. Super proud that we did that. Going to bring the... Actually, I'm going to do some super chats. Then I'm going to bring the panel out to have their say uh, on the show. I've just got to update one little bit on the on the thumbnail because I'm not happy. I want to make the picture of Kobe Mainu. It's not bright enough, in my opinion. So I want to make it stand out a little bit more so everybody can see it. <laughs> I'm so glad he scored. I'm, honestly, that made me so, so smile so big. I love this young man. I think he's going to be a star, especially when we decide to get a proper setup. Then it will be great. Super chats here. United... 0.81 uh, XG. Look at the XG differential between the two of them. That is absolutely embarrassing for Liverpool. Mafia boss here said, thank you, United. Come on, you gooners. Liverpool blink first. Come on, you gooners. My first game uh, loan at Man United worked. Yes, listen, whatever. Listen, absolutely. It did. Today it did. Today it did. So I'm just... Uh, marking when we started these super chats because i know people like to go back and see their super chats up in light why are none of my buttons working i don't know what have i done anyway i'll come back to that uh prepare for the salt when arsenal gets a scw at spurs i don't know what that's what does cs kj sign might mime it to me i don't know what that means um Someone let me know in the com private comment section what that means. Right in there for me. Uh, this, oh, Chelsea are one new up, as we would have expected. Uh, this Man United defence uh, reminds me of Arsenal's defence in Wenger's later years. Very open, rash and disorganised. I totally agree. Oh, clean sheet means clean sheet win. There we go. Yeah, ironically, yeah. Clean sheets have been slagged off for seven days in football. How Liverpool could have done with one today? Uh, Liverpool want to be champions, but can't beat United. Yeah, three times this season ever beaten us. That's crazy. Uh, remember, rival fans said during Arsenal's Invincibles, we had 11 draws. Look at Liverpool and City's draws. Draws kill championships. They certainly do at times. Uh, you welcome Arsenal. We're waiting for you. Uh, is what's up. By the way, you still got to come to Old Trafford as well. Remember that. Uh, we did our job. Now, Arsenal, you better do yours. United did well to hold on for a draw. Come on, you good. And by the way, just to put this out there, Arsenal fans, it's in your hands now. It's in Arsenal's hands. So that cannot be denied at this point. It's in Arsenal's hands. And do you know what's really crazy? That draw away at Man City could end up paying such dividends for you. Atar United, happy for you, Terry, in our hands now. Look, I'd have been happy with the win. I would have been happier with the win, but... 
Draw, I would have taken a draw. I'd have taken a draw at halftime, no doubt. Uh, not a bad team performance, but certain players let us down. Nunez and Salah were terrible. You're absolutely spot on. I didn't even pick on Liverpool players. We're going to wait for the panel, but they were woeful. Nunez today. Kwanzaa, awful. Uh, let everyone else down. Mac 10, best player today. Yeah, he was very, very good. Uh, wasn't even looking at the goal. What a goal. Yeah, both United goals were absolutely sublime. Uh, Terry, this reminded me of when we were supposed to come to Old Trafford and destroy United and win the league instead of Leicester. Very true. Uh, Liverpool's downfall incoming. Liverpool back on top. This they are. A uh, man like Tony here says, did uh, they did the same thing in the FA Cup and looked past United and didn't take and finish their chances. Happy for the point. They did. And I do think a lot of complacency and arrogance and disrespect came in from Liverpool. And that's very much what led to this situation. And they only really have themselves to blame. And look, the second goal from, from Kobe was brilliant. It was actually a really nice team goal, really good play from everybody involved. But the first goal was great a strike as it was. It was just complacency and arrogance. The worst thing that can happen to Spurs is being the kingmaker to, to, Liverpool, uh, to Arsenal to win the league. Oh, can you imagine? Man U robbed playback. Uh, that was not a penalty. Look, it, it was. Look, the player, Harvey Elliott left his leg in, but it was a foul. When you go to ground in the box, you don't touch that ball. It's a penalty. I'm not going to play that one down. Onana went uh, on the right before Salah had the ball. Listen, when it comes to Mo Salah, just stand still. In very, it goes down the middle loads or just to the side. If you just stand still, you'll make him miss. Just don't dive. I honestly think goalies should stop diving for penalties. I think they'll save more. Uh, Garnacho change uh, didn't help the game. And Bruno complains, throwing his hands a lot against his teammates. Onana is ser uh, serving United with no defense. Look, Onana made some good saves today. Again, I didn't think taking Garnacho off was the right choice because it showed that we, we were no longer a threat. And they went on to score pretty quickly after that. I agree. Uh, glory, glory, Man United. Oh, it feels good. Ten more years of Ten Hag. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Uh, I'll take it. But imagine if we won the last two. This is what's crazy. United really and truly should have won the last two, three games. Not on performance and play, but with the, the clock dying down with us leading, we should have won the last three games. When you get to that, like we're talking about the last five, ten minutes of a match, we should have won all three. <laughs> but that's why we, that's why we are where we are. Uh, United's defense is woeful. It isn't even the defense. Well, it is partly the defense because the line sits back. But the biggest issue is the hole in the midfield. It's the two things. Embarrassing, you've outdone yourself. I mean, you're saying I'm embarrassed because I'm celebrating. Listen, this is what's crazy. I'm celebrating taking two points off Liverpool in hoping to stop you from matching how many league titles my club has. That's not embarrassing. That's normal. That's normal, brother. Um, I'll happily roll over versus Arsenal now. Top four is gone. I get ya. Hopefully, Arsenal have already won the league by that game. And then we can beat them anyway. That'd be nice. That it. Uh, we defend deep because we don't have the players. But we, uh, Oral Campbell. But the back line's deep. But the midfield and attack pushes forward and leaves a hole. So you've either all got to be deep or you've all got to go up together. You can't do both at the same time. Genuinely. You can't have both. It's like going into a restaurant and wanting your steak uh, rare to well done. Do you know what I'm saying? You, you can either have it rare, medium rare. You shouldn't really have a steak well done because it ruins the meat, takes a flavor out of it. But you can't, there's, there's, there's certain stages you can't have. And we are too far between one and the other. Facts. I know you love the manager. I know you love defending him. But this shape and this system can't be defended all, brother. And I love you as a member. I love you as a super chatter. But I can't accept it, bro. That Kobe Mainu goal made me and my brother scream so loudly. My bro is a Man City fan and I'm an Arsenal fan. Hashtag this means more. Mm. Me and my brothers all support different teams. That was fun growing up. Uh, City fans are pissed. Liverpool will drop points next week. Could do. If they drop them again, it changes. Uh, it's not in Arsenal's hands. Liverpool could score loads and win the league with the same points again. It is in your hands. You're clear of them on goal difference. I swear it's by a bit. You've got, a, you've got nine goal difference over them. That means they've got a score, essentially have a better goal difference than you have 10 in the next eight, seven games. I don't see them doing that with the way Arsenal are scoring right now. In fact, you've scored more goals than them this season. You've conceded less goals than them, them this season. It's in your hands, bro, to keep winning, keep clean sheets, keep scoring. Uh, thanks, United. Time to start talking about Liverpool bottling a five-point lead. The same energy. Listen, they did have a five-point lead, didn't they? It's very true. 
Uh, Liverpool downfall when Soboslai came off. Good, good point. Uh, yeah, listen, I haven't even called him out. You're right, man. Big Willie today was wicked. He was re- he made one mistake and then recovered it against Darwin Nunes, but he was sensational. And the tackle he was booked for, fucking shit my boots. What a tackle. I cannot believe he wasn't booked. Having said that, I know it was the end of the game. Cass could have been sent off for his tackle at the end. That was fucking naughty, bruv. Proper naughty. Uh, as I'm saying, player problems. But it's not a pre- pre- player problem. It's a system problem. If, for instance, the players are not doing... If Maynou keeps pushing forward when the manager's telling him not to, you drop him. But he doesn't. If all the defenders keep sitting deep and you're telling them to push forward, you drop them for other defenders. But everyone who comes in does the same thing. So therefore, I don't think it's individual players, my friend. It is the system, in my view. Time for the panel now, people, to come out and have their say. One Liverpool fan's here, man, like Sam is. The rest of the Liverpool fans are missing, bruv. Missing in action. Where are you? Let's be having you. Especially you, Tom. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come outside. Come outside. You've been embarrassed. Uh, Ten. What does it say? Ten Hag. Cool. Terry is fully consumed and blinded by his extreme Ten Hag agenda. It's not an extreme Ten Hag agenda. Listen, Diego, if you come on and show your face, I'll also give you an appearance fee. I'll pay you £250 to show your face and come on and debate me on this. And I bet you I win. And we'll put a vote up for the audience and they can vote on who wins. And if you win, I'll pay you double. Come put your money where your mouth is. I'm not debating with you in the comment section anymore. Uh, KJ's here. Sunshine is here. Canadian Cam is in the house. And Matt, uh, welcome to the show, people. And please, KJ, how the hell did we get a point out of that game? Um, robbery. Um, that's what we love to do. We're, we are crooks, Terry. We are crooks. Um, there's actually no analyzing Man United anymore because we, we don't know how we even do what we do. We don't even know how we as fans, we don't know how as fans, how we score goals. We had today, we had an absolute two wonderful goals one mad wonder strike from Bruno and an absolutely amazing strike from my son, aka Kobe Mainu. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's all we've got. We, we can't say, oh, the play was beautiful. We can't say, oh, like the way that we build up is great and this, this is consistent. So we know how we score. We don't know how we score goals. I don't know how we did it. It has to be robbery. It's the only way uh, that we can score goals. Um, today, um, I'm happy about stopping Liverpool from winning the league and potentially giving it to Arsenal. I'm happy that my son, Kobe Menu, scored an absolute wonder goal. I'm happy that my other son, Willie, big Willie Kambuala, had a good game. He's looking strong each game he plays. And finally, the main thing is, I'm most happy about, seven Premier League games left in the season for us. Well, it's almost at the end. We've got one FA Cup game, potentially two if we win that, and seven games left. That's all we've got until it's over. That's what that's what I'm happy about, Terry. After that, as Man United fans, look at look at us. We drew against Liverpool when we were crap, and we're, we you can't we can't cheer because there's nothing to cheer. There's nothing to celebrate tangibly on the pitch. That's it's, it's peak, man. It's peak. But well done, boys. Also, Sam, Samuel, me and Samuel had a back and forth in the group chat. I'll say he was going to lose. He was say have he was basically saying the game's not over. When, um, the game's not done after one nil. I got that wrong. The game is not over after uh, after one 0 I was wrong. We would we didn't lose. I take my I take yeah. my L with my one point and my seven games left, and I keep it moving. Have you know belief, I mean? KJ, mate. You fraud. Have belief. Have the belief end. in what? Oh. You got, you're not. Hey, what's it? Here's one, one last thing. Arsenal. You can tell how bad we are. Arsenal fans are more happy about this draw than we are. <laughs> I hated watching that game. It was horrible. <laughs> horrible. To watch. Honestly, like, like I hear it. I hear it. Sam, 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 my brother. How you how you feeling, bro? Because I have to say this, and this isn't like rivalry salt. I mean it genuinely. That is an embarrassment to dominate the game the way you did, to drop points the way you did, conceding the goals that you did. Talk to us, please, Sam. I mean if I'm going based on this game, this Liverpool team doesn't deserve to win the league. How do you not learn from your mistakes from the FA Cup game? That does not make any sense to me. Any sense. Now, the easy picking is to get onto Kwanzaa. And to be fair, I don't care how young he is. You should never, ever be making a pass like that. 
ever. Ever. But the real the real people I need to get onto, Liverpool fans, we need to have a serious conversation about our attack. A very serious conversation about attack, including Salah. Because when we keep on to saying that we, on paper, have the best attack in the league, and when we give ourselves chances and we don't put them away by a, by a wayward shot or wayward passes in the final third, it, it gets to a point where it's, it's, it's getting... It's, it's so ridiculous now. I'm begging for Jota to come back. I am begging for Jota to come back. Because he is, he is the only guy in the team that is clinical. Diaz, Salah, Nunes, Gapu. Forget, forget, just forget it. As soon as he went 2 1, I said, We're not winning the game. As soon as he went 2 1, we're not winning the game. We we dominated the game in last pass. But again, we get ourselves into good areas. Wayward pass, wayward shot. How many times, even Klopp um, in the game, before, um, I think it was like an interview before, said, We need to be more clinical. What was that today? What was that today? If we don't win this league, I'm sorry, we bottled it. We absolutely bottled it. <laughs> we're bottled, we're bottled. Uh, why can't we shake off this bozo gene? Seriously, we cannot shake off this bozo gene. I need every Liverpool fan to get onto that attack because that attack was absolute crap today. Crap. <sighs> I, I hear you. Ram, Ram, do you feel similar? How embarrassed are you feeling right now being dunked on by a team whose underlying metrics all season are at the same level as Sheffield United and Luton? Of course it's embarrassing. I, I, I couldn't care less about United. It's the fact that we were, we were meant to win this game. We had to go into every game winning it. And the fact that we dominated for most part of the game and we still ended up only scoring two goals? Ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. And I, I I agree wholeheartedly with what Sam is saying right now because we did miss Shota. We did miss Shota. It doesn't. It's no coincidence when the last two games he started at Old Trafford, we smashed four past you and five past you. We missed him a lot, and but we can't we can't do this whole injury thing. We 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 have good enough players to score these goals. We have we have the likes of Diaz, Salah, Nunes, Gakpo. And we should be scoring these goals. I'm, I was a massive fan when we brought him in, but sub aside today, those chances, I've seen you bury them for Leipzig. Excuses for today. We had a go at, we, we, we say you're doing the Henderson role, but you were in charge of getting into the box and, and scoring them goals. You didn't do it today, right? Those chances that you missed were poor. And I'm the biggest sub aside fan. I wanted him at Liverpool. I was so happy that we got him. But well, you need to give criticism when it's due. And he should have scored those goals. And that is indicament of every single player. I once again want to say McAllister. Again, a solid performance from McAllister. But everybody else, very, very meaty. And we can't be meaty. We've got to be minimum good. We've got to be very good in every single game. Because that's the levels that the other two teams are set. And now until the end of the season, it's not in our hands, which is unfortunate. But... We we'll have to take it one game at a time, unfortunately. It is what it is. I hear you, bro. Um, I have sent the link out to Hassam. I need, I need you to, I've been sent this video as well from recently from him, but I don't know if he's going to come on, but we're just going to play this and then we're going to speak to Sunshine. Now you got to believe us. Now you got to believe us. Now you got to believe us. We're going to win the league. We're going to win the league. Ah, uh, Sunshine, welcome to the Terrace. Thank you for making uh, your debut. Um, Obviously, mixed emotions, probably. We didn't win the game, but we stopped Liverpool getting points. It was such an up-and-down performance. So what, what did you make of it personally? Yeah, I mean, Arsenal, you're welcome. I think shamelessly as a United fan, of course, we're happy with the draw. Uh, we're not proud of it, but we definitely are happy with it. And some positives, I think, of course, Maynou's goal, Kamwala, really stepped up for me, missing Varane in our centre-back positions. But uh, you cannot... You cannot defend Eric Ten Hag still with this performance and to see the stat line at halftime with the zero shots everything at Old Trafford to me was embarrassing and I don't know if you guys knew this we still had 59 touches in our box today so 
our football was terrible. And again, it's just a testament to how we're a moments team, right? If there was a game to be an example of how our season goes, it's terrible football with brilliant moments. That's exactly what happened today. It was so bad in the first half. I I almost turned the game off, I'm not gonna lie. It was so embarrassing to have that performance at Old Trafford. But then I'm, I'm proud of the team for turning it around because normally we do hang our heads and we kind of have a pity party. But to see us, you know, step up, you know, Bruno, I don't even want to go there. <laughs> Bruno, he, I almost lost it on him. But to see him kind of have that composure to score, I mean, he still didn't have a full great performance. But, I, you know, as a United fan, shamelessly, you're happy with the win. But you, I still want this manager gone. I'm not happy with the football. It, it is, it's embarrassing. Um, but I'll take the draw. Shamelessly, like you said, Terry, I'll take the draw. And it is what it is. I totally agree. I know there's a lot of people out there still, uh, Sky, that are defending the manager and saying it's all about the players. And I understand some players today were poor, Bruno in possession, Casemiro in, in, in possession. But the way our back line drops deep for the cutbacks, the way the whole mm. midfield and the sack pushes forward and leaves a hole in the middle, these things just seem like basic issues to fix. But yet, mm-hmm. for some weird reason, Ten Hag doesn't address it and we persist playing the same way. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I mean, that 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 is what I would want to ask somebody who's so on this kind of just say, how are you defending this? I genuinely want to know what it is that you see that I'm clearly not seeing because everyone's saying Maynou's performances have dropped, and I agree, but it's because he has to cover so much for Bruno. I mean, you could technically say the same thing for Casemiro too, but we can't, we can't, this is not sustainable. There's no way we're going to improve or get better if we have this style of football, which there isn't one. You know, and it's so inconsistent. So, to, 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 totally, totally agree uh, with where you're coming from, Canadian Cam. <laughs> I, mean, just, I don't even know what questions to ask. I've been doing this job for like <laughs> ten years, and I don't know what questions to ask because today is such a weird game. But, but give oh me man, right now, <laughs> yeah, we got put on. Like I said in the chat, we got put on the hub, man, and like we got beat up badly today. And you know, it's an analogy we use up here sometimes, and people may understand. They don't need to. It's a family show. Anyway, <laughs> that first half, man, fourteen shots or something was it? I remember four, seeing the fourteen, zero. fourteen to zero, and you're just like. All right, this is that's it. There's like I saw some people being like, "Yo, um, any else might give him a chance or this or that." I'm like, you cannot have game after game after game where I can slam the over on shots against and like ladder it in b- betting terms to like 25 and feel comfortable. That's crazy. That's where we're at right now. Um, <laughs> Ram touched on it. Those Soba slide chances. I mean, to be fair, a few of those are really good saves on Anana. Sometimes I get a little. I get triggered by the whole, like, oh, he missed his chances when a keeper did his job. Like, at the end of the day, the first save was unbelievable from Onana, and we have to give him his props and his credit there. If anything, that is, like, one of our biggest bright, bright spots. When you look at the keeper and how many shots he's been taking, he's actually, like, we were all on him. We all wanted him gone. No, he's, an, he's actually showing he's a pretty incredible keeper. Um, you, you can't be tested that much. And realistically, like, most keepers being tested as much as he's been, that's like four goals, five goals, but he made some incredible saves today. So I have to give him props because nobody really talked about that. We talked about the goals, but the keeper kept us in it. This is like David De Gea days where you're sitting there, player of the month, player of the month, player of the month, our keeper. That's when you know the manager, in my opinion, also has to go. Um, Bruno first half was, I don't ever, I love Bruno. Everybody knows that. But first half, that was crazy. Some of the stuff he did. There was one, there's that one long ball where, I mean, everybody, Garnacho was coming back to the ball and he just, Moved into the abyss. <laughs> there, was, there, was, there was that one, and then there was the chance. For, do you know what the one thing that annoyed me in this game? Young Bradley, Connor Bradley, I think, is excellent. He gets booked off the six minutes. And then for the rest of the time he's on the pitch, we did not direct our play to put pressure on him. Man United of old and all the good teams that currently exist, if you get a fullback, especially a young and inex- inexperienced one, book that early, you have a word and you go, right. I know maybe you had a game plan today where 50, 60, 70% is going to go down the right. You go, listen, let's change that for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Let's attack him. Let's put him under pressure. Let's make him make tackles. One, he might not make them. We can break into the box and score, or we can get him sent off. And we didn't do it. And there was one chance on the counter. Bruno had the ball. Feed it into him. He's gone. And he hits it straight at Connor Bradley. Like the, the, oh, yeah. 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 I will, yeah, I will, I will, I will say that. I will say that there, have been, there were opportunities where you could have got him, but... 
Once Conor Bradley got Sheffield United have equalised against Chelsea. One one, really good goal. <laughs> well, what would you expect right. with Chelsea, man? Oh, once once, once uh, Conor Bradley got his booking, I think the game plan from between him and Kwanzaa was Kwanzaa's going to be the aggressor and he's just going to try and cover oh, was, where was his it, position Kwanzaa was. Kwanzaa give the ball to Bruno. That's the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what so, I, so the thing assist, is, by the way, what an assist by Kwanzaa, mate. He assisted Kwanzaa, maybe yeah. goal of the season. That, Beautiful. Yeah, he man. Played him so, up nicely. Yeah, that was that was embarrassing. Oh, so cool. the one thing, another another kind of negative, I guess, from a player perspective, and I never think I would, I didn't think I was going to come down on this guy again, but it's uh, like Hoyland for me. I, I like the player. I've said it. I'm not like I do still think there's there's some gaps in this game. Like I mean, there's a few opportunities. People are always like, oh, he doesn't get that. There were chances today. There's a few like tiny ones, but there a few just he wasn't in the right place. A few few flashes of the ball right across the the keeper right across the area and he just wasn't there um and he's got to be there at the end of the day like that's that's your job like you've got to be in those positions and a few times where he needed to hold the ball up a little better that i, I didn't think he did a great job of um yeah. outside of that like our only bright like the low was terrible today the low was real terrible today um and i think the second half after we scored the goal it kind of shows another reason why the manager has to go like we shouldn't only get pepped up when like the moment's yeah. great, you know, yeah. like we got yeah. like you guys, we played great football after that goal. We did yeah, for a bit yeah. for like yeah. 10 minutes. We looked electric if we like, but that can't be, oh, well, we scored a goal. Let's get up and go like that should you're playing Liverpool. You're playing Liverpool at home. That should be from the start of the game to the end. You should have that energy, whether they score or not. So I'm sitting here watching there being like, so one, the manager's tactics are off Two, the players are motivated. That's how we can tell now because yeah. you, when yeah. you score a goal, yeah, on that Rasmus point as well, we've got four young players. Well, t- t- we've got four young t- players in this team that we saw today. We got you've got Kambala, you've got Mainu, you got Rasmus, and you've got um and you've got Ganacho. Ganacho. And all of them had different kinds of games. Obviously, two had like I think Kevin Mooney wasn't that great today. He had a great goal, but overall play, he's not at the levels that we've seen before. Kambala was good, uh Garnacho, uh, and then Rasmus uh. And it's just starting to show that like the coaching is just not there because these guys need developing and they are just going off their base instincts. Garnacho has been here for a season and a half now in the first team. Why haven't we seen any real changes in his play? Kobe Mainu, yeah. you haven't you seen it, it, little it, things. You, but, like, you're spot on, no, you're spot on, you're spot on. And I know like Staffy, Staffy's here. And by the way, I, I do want to, we are going to move on from talking Man United in a minute because I want to talk about, I want us to talk about Liverpool and dunk on him a bit. Like let's have some fun, right? <laughs> but, Absolutely. But exactly, yeah. But this is why I can't. Even when it comes to Bruno and Rashford, I'll criticize them, but I don't go all in. I'll tell you as to why. Because Maynu's being told to do the wrong things in this team, and when he's being told to do these wrong things, it's it's damaging us in play. Now you don't need to be the biggest fan of Garnacho or Rashford or Bruno or Delo, but if Kobe's game, if we can see that he's being hurt by these tactics and the coaching and the training. That has to, you have to have that same energy for every single player, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah. I know Garnacho may not be everybody's cup of tea, but if he'd have been working under Arteta, under Pep, under Klopp for the past 18 months, he'd be a better player than he is now. Mm-hmm. The same as if Rashford was at a stable club for when he broke through at 18. He, I'm not saying he'll be Mbappe. I'm not saying he'll be Thierry Henry. I'm not saying he'll be any of those guys, but he'd be a better football player than he is now. Staffy said this at the, uh, on Friday on Straight Facts. If you watch Bruno Fernandes play for Portugal, he is a different beast in terms of maintaining possession. He looks good on the ball. He's, he's still scoring and create, creating at a high rate. This team is poison to these players, and very rarely do I defend them. And, and I'm not saying they're, they're, they escape any criticism, but we need a change in the summer because at the end, the cold hard facts of this are that there's some really good players out there. And if we were drilled and had a good shape in and out of possession – We'd be so much better than we are. Um, Rhino's been here a while. Rhino, um, yeah. I want to ask you a question about Liverpool because we haven't really spoke much yeah. about them yet. How bad was their front line today? Darwin, I know Salah scored the penalty, but he was really yeah. off today. Oh, I mean, yeah. for a team chasing the title, dominating the game like that, that's got to go down as one of the worst performances from an, an attacking line I've ever seen. Yeah, 100%, man. Like, Liverpool, you guys bottled it, man. And I'm happy I can say hold that, you know, because me personally, <laughs> I want Arsenal to win the league anyway. I've got my reasons anyway, but, you know, out of the poison, that's my poison I'm picking. You know, out of the three poisons, I'm picking that poison. But yeah, it's awful from them, man. At this present time, you know, they've got the experience from the last the, the last few seasons and they this is the time they need to step up. It's the same thing that we say to Arsenal. 
when we say, look, it's you lot's time to step up. Liverpool need to be setting a better example, you know. You got the likes of Salah, you got what even um McAllister's doing his thing, you got Nunes, you got Diaz. They're awful, awful when it comes to being clinical. And I, I agree with Sam, you know, if you had someone like Jota, Jota would take those chances a lot better. There was the chance that Nunes has had when he should have just cut it back, but he kind of hit it across goal and I said, Wow. All he had to do was just cut it back. Simple. That would have been a goal. That's it. So their decision making is not good at all. And look at the defense we had. We had Camboala, you know, we had a they they had a teenager as well. But you know, we had a weak, weak defense. And Liverpool have on paper one of the best attacks in the league. So for them to be so like poor up front at this time where they're in control, you know. It's poor from them, man. They need to do better. And now it's looking a bit shaky. I don't know about your prediction now, Terry. I don't know if it's looking like Liverpool are edging it now. I think the way Arsenal are playing and the time that Liverpool had a chance to step up based on the fact that there was three away games, like you mentioned, and they've lost it, it's looking a bit tight for them still. Bro, yeah. do you know what? Liverpool today, they've, they've upset my prediction of them winning the league, but they did what I thought they would do. They battered us in the way I thought they would. Yeah. They yeah. were just so wasteful. And yeah, if yeah. I take my hat off a minute as a United fan and forget who they are from that, that perspective, they, they dunked on a 7-0 last year and embarrassed us. But in the cold, hard light of day, it was a result that changed nothing for any of us. Nothing. Yeah. It didn't stop us making the top four, didn't stop us winning a trophy, didn't get them into the Champions League or winning a trophy. Oh, my God, there was nearly a mad goal in the, in the Spurs game. It was... An embarrassing result on on so many levels because of the scoreline. But in actuality, it did nothing in terms of the season. It did nothing in terms of changing anything. The two draws they've had against us this season and being knocked out of the FA Cup against us are far more (laughs) damaging, especially to this final season for for Jurgen Klopp. 110%. The embarrassment of losing 7-0 after a week or so had gone. If these two draws to Man United stop them from winning the Premier League title. That is going to sit with Liverpool fans, okay. sit with Jurgen Klopp. You heard Mo Salah in the build-up to this game say it on Sky Sports, for our legacy, we have to win this Premier League. We need more. Jamie Jamie Redknapp tried to play it down. No, they've got, they're one of the greatest Premier League teams ever just with one trophy. What nope. a load of old nonsense. When you've got Chelsea's, <laughs> Arsenal's, City's, Man United's with an abundance, you've got to win more. Mo Salah knows this because he's a very honest man, a religious man who isn't going to sit there and lie on TV. <laughs> These de- defeats and draws to Man United this season could be catastrophic. Yeah. Absolutely catastrophic for their season. And and Staffy, I want to go to you on this because I know we'd have wanted more from our team today, but were you shocked by it, the, the, the lack of clinical edge from Liverpool today? And, and where do you think it went wrong for them? Well, I'm not shocked because they got bums up front. Nunes has always been a bum. Well, were you guys surprised today all of a sudden that he's a bum? I made the easiest <laughs> 50 bucks in my life last season when he made, debuted in the Premier League. I told one of my friends he was not going to score over 15 goals, and I made 50 bucks on it. Easiest money I ever made in my life. You know, the guy's a bum. Not the running, you're laughing, but it's it's, it's, it's it's the truth, bro. The guy's a bum. You know what I'm saying? But listen, 14 shots to zero. I'm not even here to talk with logic, by the way. I'm here to be shameless. Because I do I do my logic on Fridays. Tune into straight facts. Big up there and Hussein. But right now, I'm being shameless, bro. Y'all on, a, on, on, on this farewell tour, you know... <laughs> Of, of club. No, no, really. Th- listen, because I've, I've had enough, man. I've had enough. They talk about this farewell tour all season. Like, they thought it was Kobe. You know, remember that clip when Draymond Green said you, you thought he was Kobe? They don't love you like that. Club, the streets don't love you like that, bro. <laughs> he went to the worst United side in years. Three games, no wins. I can tell you that this team is shit. Bro, I put that meme of, of, of Eric Ten Hag looking at, like Bin Laden on my, on my uh, thumbnail today. <laughs> saying we're going to play haram football. I said, welcome to the first ever haram watch along. This is not a, 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 a football watch along. It's a haram watch along. And you guys couldn't put 14 shots to zero. And you guys couldn't put a goal past us. Yeah. And then, crazy. and then actually they did have one. And then, bro, what is Kwanzaa doing? I mean, we're quite literally being gifted goals. Quite I literally being gifted talk. goals. We yeah, paid Kwanzaa on the side, bro. That's the <laughs> only way. To- Last game, Caicedo, this game, this game, um, what's his name? <laughs> Bruno. And you know what? Liverpool fans can hold that. Hassan especially can hold it because I remember when Unana got chipped from the halfway line of preseason and I blamed the pass 
Oh, 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 but the goalkeeper is not supposed to be there. Well, well guess yeah, what? The same thing happened to you today, and you're blaming Kwanzaa and not Kelleher. Yeah. So the hypocrisy, hypocrisy is being exposed again. But listen, I, I can't believe none of you guys are talking about this right now, and I don't usually do this. That was never a penalty. You're literally being gifted yeah, penalties. Bro, no. in what sense that is that was not his, penalty? His, his, it was his, the dumbest his, challenge in the box. Wait, and wait, he didn't wait, get bro, any bro, bro, I'm not done. I'm not done talking. 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 That was not a penalty. Aaron Wabisaka goes off his feet. And listen, everyone here will tell you I'm not his biggest advocate. And he shouldn't be going off his feet anyways. Guy's a bum. Hopefully he gets sold. But. He doesn't even make connection with his, his left foot, which that was the foot that he had the ball on. He goes with his right foot into his thigh, the inner in, inner part of his thigh. And then he goes down and he's like, oh, penalty. Bro, he never touched them. Go watch the clip again. Yeah, try to you watch it again, take, it looks a bit... Yeah, try to take no, your, your, again, your Liverpool watch hat again, off. I watch it enough times to tell you. He does not get him. There's a difference between me giving... First one nil. There's Move a difference on. between you making connection with the attacker and the and, and the mm -hmm. uh, and the attacker initiating the connection with you. He no one tackles with his thigh, okay? You literally put your foot towards his it's thigh. Like he tripped over him, kind of. Yeah, thing, he, yeah. he did it yeah. on purpose. He was like, you know what? He didn't touch my left foot, but let me go with my right foot. So he starts going down and then puts his foot towards him. Everyone here will tell you it's not a penalty, except for Liverpool fans, and I'm not surprised why. We know we haven't seen. We normally see reverse angle. When where, where, the... Where's the VR where, check, bro? Where, where, I, where, I didn't complain about the ones in Chelsea. Let, don't get me wrong. I didn't complain about the ones in Chelsea because we were shit. Okay? And you can argue that there was contact. It was just very soft contact. I don't think these were penalties as well. But this one, bro, it, at some point, bro, like, they're not even trying to hide it, bro. They're like, here, we're trying to cl help Klopp so much that we're going to give him fake penalties. And you still couldn't, bro. This you know, team, bro, you know, I'm not going to really lie. If this was Arsenal... Right. Right. You know what's interesting? I'm not chatting shit. You just don't <laughs> like it, bro. You're shit, the same bro. one that everyone hold was saying. Hold, hold that. that. You're just hold that. You just chat a load of nonsense for the last... You are doing... You are doing... No, no, no. Don't just put him on the big screen. Take him off the big screen. I'm not done, bro. Talk about the big screen, bro. I'm not done, bro. I'm not done, bro. I'm not done, bro. There's no mental gymnastics, bro. No, no, no. Listen, bro. Listen. Every time you see me this season on the terrace, every time... Time you, you see me, you're like stop your, your team is shit. Your team is shit. Your team is shit. My head is not gonna let me finish, bro. My head is not gonna let me finish, bro. You won this game, bro. You are not letting me finish, bro. You're not letting me finish. Let me just come let, 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 let him finish, and then we'll put you in. You're the only one who's saying that because you wanted to win the game. I get it. You're a Liverpool fan. You're supposed to see it this way. Everyone here, even Arsenal fans that we don't agree with, go online, go everywhere. No one thinks that's a penalty but you guys. You are literally being held by the refs. If this was Arsenal, if this was City, I would have seen the 115 all over. 115, 115, 115. If it was Arsenal, you guys would be saying it's fluke. They're paying the refs, blah, 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 all that stuff. You're the first one to always ask for an apology when a decision goes against you. But when I guess the decision goes for you, everyone started chatting shit but you guys. That was never a penalty. You guys were shit. You had all these chances and you could have put uh, you could have put it to, put us to the sword. If this city was Arsenal, they would have easily picked up three points at halfway. Uh, sorry, at halftime, and they would have started benching your players. You guys owe actually club an apology because all this hype that you guys are gonna win him the league in his last season, all these bunch of players let him down, and you are being held by the referees, and you still could have picked up the three points. Now you can go ahead and oh, fucking talk. Ram, 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 let me just let me just jump in. For, let me just jump in for a second because I've just seen. I've just seen a replay that I didn't see during the game. Maybe I was yeah. doing something on the thumb now. Same. I've just yeah, seen a replay. I've shared, it, I've shared it on my Twitter. Now I've seen this. I'm not going to lie. I'm I'm changing touch my it. mind. You I'm, I'm, I'm right. changing. I don't know how much of this I can show because I might get a copyright strike. I'm going to try and be very clever when I do this, right? Let me put this up on my screen here. You guys will still be on. When this goes through, watch this. No touch on his leg. He's dragging his back leg on purpose and then he starts falling before yes. he's been touched. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, it wasn't a pad. I can see. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. Hang on, guys. Hang on. He starts dragging. We'll go back again on this, right? Let's just watch this in real time, right? So there's no touch on the ball. There's no touch on his standing leg. None. You all agree. He's then dragging his behind feet. And then he's already falling at this point. He puts his leg in and then, yeah. fall, and then he falls yeah, over. Man. For me... Having just watched that again, I said penalty. Having watched that replay, that is a dive, right? And do you know what's crazy to me? Do you know what's crazy when I see this? And do you know what bothers me about it? Now that I didn't see this replay on, on, on TV, I didn't see it on Sky. 
is VAR was meant to check these things. But you know what they're doing yeah. now? And I, I don't agree with Safi that they're doing it for Klopp because I don't. But no matter what a referee does now, as long as they can see one, like, mine, you touch the hair on someone's leg, that's it, they're giving it as a foul. It's like the other one, the other one, the other day for Delo, there was barely a touch on him. If the referee didn't give it, if the referee said no to that, they wouldn't have overturned it and given it. That tells you it's not a fucking penalty. So I, I have not seen that angle. I changed my mind. Ram, now you've seen that replay and you see zero contact. The player drag his legs along the floor like he's dead and fall himself to the ground. You still think it's a penalty? No, yeah. Honestly, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I had to hear yeah. all you idiots oh, talk for the last two or five minutes. Yeah? Stop, it. Stop, it. Stop, that Stop talking. That is shameless. Stop talking. Stop talking. <laughs> what, what's going about crying about oh, he can ask you a question Ram, Ram, Ram. let me answer my question please Ram, 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 Ram answer me this question Ram, answer this question how is it a foul when he's already falling before contact There's no... what do you mean he's falling before contact <laughs> because there is there is contact there is contact there well, that's, well, but that's because he if you want to be really technical Ram, about it he's trying Ram, to get the Ram, ball away from Ram, 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 trying to use leverage as well Ram, let me ask the question that's my job the contact is there, but the contact only happens because he drags his foot into him. But he's already, as you can see, at a 45 degree angle. Why is that a foul? Please well, answer the pivot. question. To pivot, yeah. What? So, so you die to, to you die at this angle to pivot. No, I don't understand why everyone is saying is is why everyone's saying, oh, he moved his leg, he moved that. It was a suicide challenge in the box, which had no IQ at all, and yet. I know, I know you guys play like Prime Barca today, and you're happy that you stopped us from winning. Who the said title that? So Stop deflecting. Stop yeah. deflecting. Stop deflecting. Bro, Listen, again, you're again, rattled, and I see it. You're rattled, and, and you see it. Don't talk about the performance. Talk about the decision. Talk about the decision. Talk about the decision. Stop deflecting. He moved his leg. He tried to do this. And we showed you a clip. What more do you need, bro? Ram, you know what you're doing, Ram. Are these glasses working, bro? You want me to send you money for another prescription? Because they're clearly not working, bro. I can't see the same thing. It was a suicide challenge, Let's go to Sam. Now you've seen that. Ram, I'll put Sam on the big screen here. Sam, when you see that footage again, does it change your mind about the penalty? Yeah, it does change my mind. Love you, Sam. I love you, Sam. This is why This is why you're a real one, bro. This is why you're a real one, bro. The the Bro. thing is about I'm 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 actually quite tired about talking about this because I can name many times where we we should have got a penalty where our other teams should have got a penalty. It just shows about the incompetence of the refs. Like Absolutely. as 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 I said, the the prime example was when we played Man City and we should have got the penalty against Doku. The ref we bottled it. He he just bottled it. Yeah. So here it's it's kind of like I feel like referees are trying to rely on VAR to get them out of trouble, but then VAR is trying to allow the refs to um ref the game so they ain't gonna do much when when it when it, when they see the um replays. So it's 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 a it's a complete mess. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like again, I, I, I've always wanted to call out um when each and every team gets something in uh, an injustice against them, but it's how many times is it gonna happen for, for it to change? I'm, I'm I'm not gonna lie. When 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 I saw the replay again I was just like yeah we, we got away with one but it's it's just gonna keep on happening. I'm not gonna lie it's gonna mm -hmm. keep on happening. Yeah. Now again, I didn't see that replay in, in, in full. Do you know what it was? I got so annoyed about the penalty, I kind of turned my head and looked yeah, away. I, I was also very annoyed at Jamie Carragher because I keep calling this out and I keep doing it on my shows. I want my commentators to be impartial. I pay. We pay a lot of money in England for Thank TV. I, I think it's only China that pays more money for their subscriptions to watch football play. It's ridiculously expensive over there. But hearing him scream penalty like he's a fan, I, I think that's wrong. Personally, he's meant to be impartial, and it, it, it's crazy to me. But yeah, Ram, I think you've had a mayor there, bruv. I think you've had a mayor. I'm gonna go to some of these super chats. Is... I know there's still more people to speak, but I, I, I want to go to the super the chats here. Uh, if AWB ball, stands, no penalty. Spaghetti legs looks worse. I understand. Listen, I understand your point, but just because he's made a mistake doesn't give. Harvey Elliott the right to dive. That's like that's like saying Terry, it's, it's you left your door unlocked. It's okay that someone burgled your house. Yes, there's more blame on me, but that doesn't excuse somebody from being a fucking tea leaf. Do you know what I mean? That means thief. It's Cockney rhyming slang for you uh, Yanks North Americans watching. <laughs> but like, 
it doesn't excuse it. Ram, if you leave your car unlocked for a second and someone robs your car, does that make it okay for the car, fi- car theft? <laughs> it's Aaron Basaka, oh, he'll say yeah. Actually, actually the crazy I'm thing is, Terry, I'm going to say I'm something crazy here. No, 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 you got to hear something. No, 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 now that you, now that you brought this up, Rams this is kind of crazy. Walk. In, in the Canada, Rhino, why do you have that? Yeah, yeah, I need to cook for my little ones, but Ram, you're in the walk, man. It's you're in the walk. Take it. Take it. Take Forget the cooking. I went to go and get it. Listen, when I bring out the walk, it's long. You're in the walk, Ram. Turn it off. Turn the stove off. Fresh, fresh lamb. Fresh lamb. On your analogy, and now that Vader's here, he could probably co-sign this. In Canada, we recently had something crazy happen where the police chief chief in toronto said because we have a lot of car theft up here he said what you should do is leave your keys at the front of your house so if you get home invaded they just want your car they'll just take your car don't defend yourself right. don't do anything. When, 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 you that, when you say that's crazy right i was in the states a, a couple of years ago i was what? at a conversation i was at a conversation with this geezer and i was explaining to him that in england i've got a swimming pool if someone breaks into my house Falls into my swimming pool and drowns. I face a manslaughter charge. No way. Yeah. That's that's Eng- that's English law. The law in the UK is crazy. If someone breaks into your house and falls over, climbs up the stairs, trips on a kid's toy that's left on the stairs, and they break their neck and die, you may face a manslaughter charge. That's how bad it is. That's oh, Ram, basically. Crazy, yeah. That's basically crazy. Ram. Ram's advocating this bullshit. Do you know what I'm saying? How, how, how am I? How am I? Ram, you didn't Ram, you didn't answer my question. Ram, I'm gonna mute no, you. No, Ans- no, no. Ram, answer my question. Or you're getting a one week ban from the football terrace. <laughs> is it okay? Is it okay for a thief to nick your car if you leave it unlocked? Is it okay and acceptable in your opinion? You just I just answered that question. I let you answer that question. I didn't hear you. you answer it. No, answer you it. don't need it. You didn't hear me. Answer, answer it. Bro. Answer I said, it. I said no answer. I said it's, it's what still not okay. I'm still the idiot. I'm no, still the idiot. I'm no, again, the that isn't the oh, argument. Man. Nobody here has said that Juan Pazaka wasn't silly for but going Terry, to ground. Terry, do you know? But Terry, uh, do you know what? I've, 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 I, no, a diab is still I'll, a diab. Is still a diab. No, but Terry, Terry, I've said this before. I've even criticised my own players for doing that. <laughs> if they make going for a suicide challenge, I have more onus on criticising the player that made. You're right. Yeah, right. Now pull out the walk again, bro. Pull out the walk again. Pull out the walk again. Yeah, pull out the walk again. Yeah, making some ram soup. Guys, I've got to call Chicken. you out here. Ram, you are victim blaming. You no, are I'm victim not. blaming. Bro, we're not. making some ram over rice right now. That's what we're doing. He called us idiots, rice. guys. He called us idiots. Why did you even walk down that street? You're a victim <laughs> blamer. That's yeah. what you are. You Bro. just terrible, <laughs> man. Get in the walk. Get in the walk. Get in the walk. My kids are hungry. My kids are hungry. Get in the walk. A little bit of a little bit of roast. Ram, a bit of roast ram. Ram over rice, rice, bro. Ram over rice. Some ram over rice. A little bit, little bit of garlic. Um, <laughs> who else we got? Who hasn't had? Who hasn't respected? Anybody notice? Sam, yeah. Sam just, Sam just left Ram by himself. Sam was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Sophia, Listen, Sophia, I gotta head out too, guys. Cheers, Sophia, talk to us, young lady. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, now our team. Oh, sorry, one one. Sorry, 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 one one. No, it's fine. That's all right. Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go for it. Now, I was just saying, I mean, Staffy did raise a good point because, you know, I was a little bit annoyed with giving away a penalty, you know, two games in a row where we're giving away three penalties. Very annoying, of course, but mm. now looking back at it, hindsight, I, I don't think it's a penalty and it makes it a bit more annoying because I feel like we took away the opportunity of this guy right here, this young gentleman right here to, you know, as we, we call him him. That's that's what we're saying. He he is indeed him. <laughs> so we're we're taking away that opportunity for him to in, in years come a couple of years, we can say, oh, April 7th, you know, against Liverpool, this young man got the winner against Liverpool within their title race. I mean, obviously, we still took away, you know, some point from them. So we'll take that. I'm not mad at that, but it is annoying when we weren't that far away from actually winning the game. Mm-hmm. Um, but mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie, initially, when I did my match preview yesterday, I was predicting us to lose, which pays me to say, but I got to be honest, I was thinking we were going to lose 3-1. I'm taking the draw, but uh, there are certain players that got to go. 
as we all know, of course, the manager got to go. Nothing new. But yeah, I'm Sophia. just counting the games left. Sophia, talk about. Why are you shaking Alabama? your head, Vader? Uh, <laughs> I see you. He needs you to go. Get him. You get him. Scott. You get him. Put get this fraud on. Put this Did I say something on. wrong, Vader? Huh? Put he, this he, he has this weird look that drives me nuts. Talk to us, Vader. You know, Welcome, welcome. It's great to see the smiles on all you United fans oh, right now. Smiling. Smiling. Oh, you're smiling. smiling. You know what this is? Do you know what this is? Do you know what this really is? V, right? V used to be a Man United fan. He just wants to join the party for a day again. That's all it is. That's all it is. Never, never. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Ram, you, you sound a little frustrated. You sound <laughs> a little. I'm good. I've, I've been, I'm happy, I've, man. I've been happy accused of that myself, and I'm hearing it now, Ram. So, <laughs> listen, you got lucky today. You got lucky today. I don't want to hear about what happened at Spurs anymore, Ram. I don't want to hear about that goal that got disallowed. I don't want to hear about it. You got gifted today. Level ground now. Level ground. Let's see who's got it. You, Arsenal. Or us at City. I don't want to hear it. No more talks about refs. Let's get it. And, uh, and it's good to see never you guys I've said that from, I said that from February, bro. It's, it's, it's never no refs, no nothing. It's just going to be pure football. We do our football on the pitch. That's how it is. You're stressed, though. I know you're stressed, my brother. I know you're stressed. You know why? One, you're on this stream. You never come out of the stream, so you're stressed. <laughs> Number two, yeah. Listen. Number two, yeah. No, I know you're stressed. You men have not been in a three-way title race since first since Pep been here, bro. Now you got no, you used, to, used to your little brother Liverpool being the guy you used to battle all the time, innit? Then you got used to no, 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 no. Then you got used to Liverpool, little Liverpool little brother is Arsenal, nuts, bro. But now yeah. the brothers are teaming up on you, and you're stressed, my brother. <laughs> this is it. No, 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 no. Pep is very inexperienced. I've heard that he's never had a freeway. He's never <laughs> had a freeway. There's no experience here from this man. He's sitting in the corner on the cock chair. That's oh, not joking. <laughs> so I, just, I just wanted to, to say to say yes, my bit. Sir, yes, brother. Tell me. Um, listen, from a Man United point of view, it's shocking. Uh, the the self the self the the lack of self awareness. Um, from Whoa. this manager and himself. No, no, relax. I'm happy that you guys got the draw. 100%. You guys did the job. These guys went out there and put everything on the line for that for that draw, bro. But the lack of self-awareness from this manager in Eric Ten Hag. At half time, they come out for the second half and this guy's clapping fans. Who are you clapping, bro? Who wants you to be there, bro? Why are you clapping fans? The Nobody line, likes line, you, bro. This, bro, the, 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 fans, the fans that are clapping him, bro, relax. What are you guys doing, man? Why are you clapping this guy, bro? This guy's a fraud. You should be telling him to get out. But anyway, listen, the players, there's clearly there's clearly a lack of um, the system that he puts out every single game. You just see that everything just doesn't work together. Nothing works together with this guy. Yeah, everybody's doing different jobs. Like Tell said, they're all bull watching. They're just watching the guys just play football in front of them. They're not saying, let me cover that space. Let me cover. Let me cover somebody in case they go into that space or they try to to get into that space and take advantage of it. Absolutely shocking um, from from Eric Ten Hag with with the team that he put out or the the play style that he put out. Man, this guy has no tactics at all. When it comes to Liverpool, on the other hand, their attack is absolutely woeful, woeful, and that is Salah included in that. For a world class player of his, no, no, again, again, more last, more chest. Salah, Salah, Salah. Listen, the 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 fact that Salah is a world class player, a world class player, the chances that he had, I'm sorry, I don't care if one of them was on his right foot, this and that, uh, fasting Salah, I don't care, bro. He he should be putting some of those chances away. Darwin Nunes, he's a bozo. We expect that. Yeah. Also, Diaz, he's a bozo. We expect that. Even though he scored the goal. Yeah, we expect that from them. But Salah is the one that is always that key guy. He's always the one that's scoring goals for them. So um, from an attacking point, they're woeful. Um, I, th I think they were Sabosla, he was this guy, this guy is 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 I, I think he's probably their fourth, fifth best defender out there. He's shocking. Um, shocking this season. Allah! 
Sorry, um, uh, Nottingham Forest just hit the post. Um, just on the penalty, just on the penalty is yeah. Sorry, bro. Well, I got the game one, but um, just on the penalty, just, just on the penalty the as well. And then no, no, they, he, Nottingham Forest, Nottingham Forest hit the post in it. So we're doing we're doing Spurs watch right now. Um, but yeah. just on just in regards to um the penalty, Ram, I I can't lie. Listen, at first I thought it was iffy. I was like, hold on, is that a pen? I, I, I was cussing out one bissaka on my watch along, and I was like, "Why are you going down in the box? Why are you going down in the box?" And I see the, I see the, the thing, and I actually watch it again when you put it out, tell. And bro, he's he's pulled his foot away. There's no way that he can carry on walking and walk into his foot. That's when it doesn't become a penalty anymore. That's when it does not become a penalty anymore. He can't walk into his foot and then just drop and say, "Oh, look, look, he went in for me." No, bro, that's not how it works. He has to go in and then. He has to hit him while he's going in for the tackle. He can't hit him. Or he can't hit him when he's when he's tried to pull his foot away. It just it doesn't make sense, right? Yeah. So I, I, no, I don't think it was a penalty. Bro. I, I totally get you on that. I'm, I'm going to go to Igal quickly because I've got a lot of super chats to get through uh, as well. I, Igal, welcome back to the show, brother. Speak. Thank you, Bruno Fernandez. Thank you, Kobe Mainu. Thank you, Manchester United, and also big up to Manchester United fans. And I just want to say. Uh, Avengers assemble, as my guy KJ would say, because we got City fans here, Arsenal fans here, Man United fans here, and Ram, Mister. It was a flash in the pan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Tell him again. Welcome. I told you we're gonna drop points. I predicted this game specifically as drop points on my channel, on here, everywhere. I've been saying it. You're gonna drop points first, Man United. You're gonna drop points first, Man United. And what happened? You delivered just like that. And you know what? Dare I say it? reminiscent of the slip moment a player going through after somebody passes in the final uh, the final player passes it and boom it's a goal <laughs> dare i say it you're not going to touch the top of the top seed ever again you're not going to you're not going to be at the top of the table again from now to the end of the season this was your chance you had to go clear Ooh. and win every game jammy wins by the way every game we've said it city even though they're they're third they've had much more convincing wins Arsenal, we're currently first. We've been one of the most convincing teams in the league. You guys have just been getting by based on pure emotion. You've been getting through injuries. I give it to you. You got through injuries. You got through all the situations that you've had. Credit to you, but it's over. This is it. it you're done. This is it. I don't even want to go any further. So you're not dropping points. I just I love you. You're not dropping points, Senegal. All I know is that Michael Jackson. You're not dropping points, Senegal. I want to hear. I want to hear. Are you winning every single game? Are you winning every single game, Senegal? You you are worrying about the wrong team. Did you see your team versus Manchester United? Did you see your performances versus Sheffield for Sheffield United versus Luton versus all these other teams? You have the audacity to be talking about the team that has won eleven, has got has been undefeated in 2024. You're looking at a City team that has Kevin De Bruyne back, and you think Kwanzaa, who squandered a chance today for you guys, is going to come and and help you guys win? You guys are finished. No, I mean, I mean, is no longer touching. Liverpool football club is no longer touching this. I love the fact that I am more worried about Manchester City going forward. I look at your your fixtures. Guess what? You might have some good fixtures, but your away fixtures is where you're going to get hurt. At Anfield, you are impenetrable, but away from home, you're going to get hurt. You are, and you are, you are the weakest, the weakest defense out of all three of our teams. And when okay. I see Virgil van Dijk stand by himself like Thor, he can't do it alone. <laughs> he can't. He can't. Well, I mean, apparently, You're according to you, this entire We haven't played this in a long time, but I think Igao's chest deserves it. One, two, one, two, three, four. I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to make my wife. I need a girl who's mine, oh mine. I need a girl. In my life, I need a girl to ride, ride, ride. I need a girl to be my wife. Nobody else, uh, she's a man. I need a girl. Yeah, in yeah. My Yo, I'm internationally life. known on the microphone. I Epic. Ram, your season ended today, mate. You're not, okay, you're not catching, Ram, you're not catching Arsenal. 
you're not right. getting you're not you're not you're level on points with us but mm-hmm. i guarantee you from now mm-hmm. to the end of the season you are going to drop more points than us city is my only real like threat how you guarantee Come the come the last two weeks of the season, you're gonna we're gonna look back at this tape and we're gonna say, damn, Iga was right. Because I look at my team and I see my team play well. I look at other teams, I see I see them have a go at you. When they come when they come at Arsenal, they don't even have two steps at us. They they take two steps back because they're worried. But hey, I'm done, bro. Do I really love as well? I love the fact that. There's loads of new subscribers to the terrace that have never seen that video. That video is old, old. And I just thought the chest today deserves that to be played. Oh, Jerry, by the way, to the people, to the Arsenal fans, to the to the City fans who are saying, Eagle, Liverpool can still come back. No, this is not the same Liverpool. Get it through your thick skulls. Get it through your thick skulls. <laughs> couple gods, couple gods, yeah. Egal, yeah. 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 you never uh, learn, my friend. Ram, Ram, learn. I've got a lot of super chat. I've got a hell of a lot of super chats to do here. First one says, rival saying Arsenal play bad football. And then in the past week, we see Liverpool, Chelsea and United play like they did, getting carried away, though. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I, I actually, V's on here. V actually congratulated Palace and Villa in the last week for how well they played against City. 